Right, hello Project 4, how are you today? I hope you are okay. Now today we are going to be looking at page 75 in your book. And if you're doing Trinity 6, beep, 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 this is super important because it's part of the grammar for Trinity 6. Okay, so let's start by looking on page 75, exercise 5. All right, let's look at what Mike says. Now here, obviously, this is Mike. Look at that hair. All right. So what does he say? So we should all go and see Mrs. Ross to help Tara. So from what Mike says, why should they all go and see Mrs. Ross? Why? Good. They should go to help Tara. Exactly well done. So when we use to an infinitive in this context, we use it to express the purpose of something, why we do something. And it's called the infinitive of purpose. Beep beep, Trinity Six Klaxon. Boop boop boop. Okay, so we use to an infinitive to say why we do something. Why should we go and see Mrs. Ross? To help Tara. Okay, so look at these two sentences in exercise 5b. Okay, can we look at the story and complete the two sentences from the story? Okay, so pause and when you've completed the sentences, press play and we'll go through it. All right, no cheating. Are you ready? Pause. Right. Did you look at the story? Hmm? Hmm? I'm looking at you. Okay, let's go through. So, the first one, we all told lies. Why? Why did we all tell lies? To get, to get the afternoon off. Which part of this sentence is the infinitive of purpose? Good to get. Okay, so we all told lies. Why did we tell lies? Ah, to get the afternoon off. In the second one then, they closed the sports centre that afternoon. Why did they close the sports centre? Ah, to do a fire safety check. In this sentence, what's the infinitive of purpose? Perfect. To do. All right. Fairly simple. Excellent. So remember, in Trinity 5 and in the past, we've looked at saying because to give a reason. This one is to give a purpose for something and is using to and infinitive. Okay. So let's look at exercise 6. All right. Here we have the start of eight different sentences. Then you have eight verbs. And finally, eight pictures. So very simple. You need to, number one, match sentences, verbs and pictures. And secondly, write the complete sentence using the infinitive of purpose. OK, so match in your book and then in your notebook, write the eight sentences. Look at number one as the example. I went to the fridge matches with the verb get, which matches with the picture of a bottle of Coke. And the example at the top, I went to the fridge to get a drink. I went to the fridge to get a bottle of Coke. I went to the fridge to get a fizzy drink. OK, don't forget when you're writing the complete sentence, the infinitive of purpose is always with to, to get, to play, to have, to do, 
to help. Okay? So once again, can you pause the video, match the things in your book, and write the eight sentences in your notebook? When you've finished, come back and we'll go through the answers. Okay? Cool. So pause your video now. Right. Have you got all of the everything matched and the eight sentences written in your notebook? Good. Then let's look at the answers. So number one, I went to the fridge to get a drink. Easy peasy. It's the example. Number two then. I used the internet to download some music. I used the internet to download some music. Number three, I went to the supermarket to do the shopping. I went to the supermarket to do the shopping. Okay, what's the difference between do the shopping and go shopping? Hmm. Remember this from Trinity 4 when we talked about shopping. So to do the shopping, oh, that's the boring stuff in the supermarket to buy the things which we need. Food, cleaning products, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. To go shopping is when you go to the shops you want and you buy things that you want. By clothes, by video games, by makeup, things like that. Okay? Number four then. I texted my friend to say I will be late. All right? I hate when people are late. Come on, people. Don't be late. Number five. I sat down to read a magazine. What's the name of the magazine? Teens. Cool. Okay, number six then. I bought some bread to make a sandwich. Number seven. I went to the sports centre to play basketball. And finally, number eight. I put on my pyjamas to go to bed. Easy peasy, yeah? Excellent. Now remember, for those doing Trinity 6, this is in the Trinity 6 exam, the infinitive of purpose. So make sure you put something of this into your topics. Okay? Yep. Yeah? Perfect. So your homework today, I'm going to read the start of 10 sentences for you and I'd like you to complete them using an infinitive of purpose just like this okay so listen write the first part of the sentence and complete using an infinitive of purpose all right okay let's start number one I stayed at home okay I stayed at home Number two, I phoned my friend. I phoned my friend. Number three, I switched on the TV. I switched on the TV. Number four, I'm studying hard. I'm studying hard. Number five, I went to the shops. I went to the shops. Number six. I bought a film. I bought a film. Number seven. I used my pens. I used my pens. Number eight. I put on my best clothes. I put on my best clothes. Number nine. I sat on the sofa. I sat on the sofa. And finally, number ten. I took a painkiller. 
I took a painkiller. Okay, so you have the start of the ten sentences. Now can you complete them using an infinitive of purpose? Okay, perfect, well done. Now don't forget, you can also look at some other videos on YouTube. All the teachers have been doing videos. If you look for the other videos from Project 4, you get some ideas of what other teachers are doing. You don't only have to look at my videos, you can look at others as well, all right? And remember, if you're going to do the KET exam, which I recommended quite a lot of you for, you need to register before the end of next week, I believe, okay? So make sure you contact Will to register for your KET exam, all right? That's it from me for this week, though, so I will see you in class on Thursday. Have a good one.